Published in 2001, Dead Until Dark is a paranormal fantasy novel by Charlene Harris. Set in a world where vampires are commonplace, a telepathic waitress begins a relationship with a vampire while a serial killer stalks their small Louisiana town. Dead Until Dark is the first book in the Suki Stackhouse series, which was adapted into HBO's television series True Blood. Harris has been an author for more than 35 years, she has penned poems, plays, and more than 40 novels. She lives in Texas with her two rescue dogs. 25-year-old Suki Stackhouse lives in Tiny Bon Temps, Louisiana, with her grandmother, Adele. She has no boyfriend, nor did she attend college, because Suki has a strange ability that makes everyday interactions difficult. She's a telepath. She does her best to control this disability, both because she has no desire to know the thoughts of others and because other people naturally resent having their minds read. Often they think Suki is crazy. Suki works as a cocktail waitress at Merlot's Bar Grill. Though she is happy enough with her life, she wishes for a day when she will not feel so isolated from the rest of the world. When Bill Compton, a centuries-old vampire who is a former Confederate soldier, comes into Merlot's, Suki immediately strikes up a conversation with him. She has never met a vampire before, even though they are commonplace, and wants to know what they are like. As Bill leaves Merlot's, he is attacked by the Rattrays, a couple who steal blood from vampires to sell on the black market. Suki intervenes and saves Bill. In the process, she realizes that she cannot read the thoughts of vampires. When the Rattrays attack Suki in revenge a few days later, Bill comes to her aid. He gives her a bit of his blood so that her wounds will heal quickly. Meanwhile, Bon Temps is experiencing a string of murders. All the victims are young women, and they all have been strangled to death. Stranger still, each was connected to vampires in some way. This makes the people of Bon Temps angry and suspicious of vampires, including Bill. But vampires are not the only possible suspects. The authorities are also watching Suki's brother, Jason, because he has previously been in sexual relationships with more than one of the victims. Suki tells Adele about Bill. Adele asks Suki to invite Bill to the Club of Descendants of the Glorious Dead to speak about the Civil War. Adele also invites Bill to their house. While he and Suki go for a walk, she learns that she cannot be glamoured, the hypnotic ability that all vampires have over humans. Bill tells her that he is tired of moving from place to place. He wants to settle down and have a home again. When they return to Suki's house, they kiss. The next day, Suki makes an excuse to visit Bill's house, but she finds he already has company. Three other vampires and some of their fongbangers, humans who allow vampires to drink their blood. The vampires are wild and violent compared to Bill, they even try to feed on Suki. However, Bill prevents them, saying, she is mine. After the experience, Suki takes some time away from Bill to decide if she really does want to become involved with vampires. When Dawn, another waitress at Merlot's, does not show up for work, Sam, the bar's owner, asks Suki to check on her. Suki goes to her house and finds that Dawn has been strangled. Thinking that maybe she can finally use her disability for something good, she goes to Bill and asks him to take her to Fantasia, a vampire nightclub. At the club, she meets the owner, Eric Northman, and his right-hand vampire, Pam. They discover that the murder victims all like to have sex with vampires, but are not able to find any leads. Eric is attracted to Suki and tries to glamour her, when he fails, she reveals to him that she is a telepath. The day arrives for Bill to speak at the club of the descendants of the glorious dead. Suki attends the talk with Sam, which makes Bill jealous. Bill shares about his time in the Civil War and how he was turned into a vampire against his will, the audience loves him. Afterward, Sam and Suki have dinner, then he takes her home. He kisses her, but she does not return the kiss. When Sam leaves, Suki goes inside and finds Adele's dead body on the floor. Investigators assume that Suki was the intended victim, but that Adele was the one at home when the killer arrived. After the funeral, Suki turns to Bill for comfort, and they have sex. Suki admits to Bill that she was molested by her uncle when she was a child. He responds by killing the uncle. One night, Suki receives a call from someone claiming to be Jason asking her to meet him at Merlot's. When she arrives, however, Jason is not there. Instead, she senses murderous thoughts from someone hiding in the building. 
She tries to escape but is cornered by Renee Lenier, a friend she has known for years. Renee hates vampires and wants to punish all women who become involved with them. He tries to kill Suki, but she is strong enough to fight back thanks to having been given Bill's blood. Badly injured, Suki escapes and passes out. She wakes in the hospital where police tell her that Renee confessed to the murders. Bill also visits her, telling her that he has taken a job as an investigator under Eric so that he can help keep her safe. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.